At approximately 12.45 a.m. the Dolly, a cargo vessel flying the Singaporean flag, embarked from the Baltimore dock, navigating the waters of the Patapsco River. In routine operations at the port of Baltimore, tugboats are often deployed to assist in maneuvering vehicles away from the docking area. However, in an unforeseen turn of events, the Dolly's pilots and crew encountered difficulties, leading to a loss of control over the vessel. Notably, ships are not mandated to be accompanied by escorts when passing through the bridge. At approximately 12.56 a.m. the vessel initiates a significant arc, altering its course towards the Francis Scott Key Bridge. By around 1.25 a.m. the ship attains its maximum speed, only to abruptly lose power at 1.26 a.m. Subsequently, the crew on board issues a distress signal, expressing concern over the potential for a collision. At 1.27 a.m., following the distress call from the Dolly, authorities request the assistance of law enforcement to halt traffic on both sides of the bridge, according to records from 911 dispatch. There's a ship approaching that has lost all steering, the dispatcher notifies. Until they regain control, we need to cease all traffic. Two emergency responders confirm that they have successfully halted traffic on both the north and south sides of the bridge. At 1.28 a.m. concerns regarding the safety of personnel working on the bridge surface in 911 records prompt action. I'm uncertain if there's a crew present up there. It might be prudent to inform the foreman to temporarily evacuate them from the bridge, a participant in the call advises. I need one of you guys on the south side, one of you guys on the north side, hold all traffic on the key bridge. Uh, there's a ship approaching that just lost their steering. So that until you get that under control, we got to stop all traffic. Yeah, we're all on the route to the south side. I just about to start. Uh, I'm holding traffic now. I was dragging, but we stopped prior to the bridge, so I'll have all out, out of the traffic stopped. Yeah, four. Is there a crew work on the bridge right now? Two nine one, but they out. Good. So let me stop traffic on this site right now. Yeah, if we can stop traffic, just make sure no one's on the bridge right now. Uh, I'm not sure where. It's uh, if there's a crew up there, you might want to notify whoever the foreman is, see if we can get them off the bridge temporarily. 10-4, once the other unit gets here, I'll ride up on the bridge. I have all interloop traffic stopped at this time. Once you get here, I'll go grab the uh, workers on the key bridge and then stop the outer loop. At approximately 1.29 a.m., the vessel experiences a decrease in speed before colliding with a support column of the bridge structure. During the 911 call, an individual notifies the dispatcher of the impact, suggesting that the entire bridge may have collapsed. Emergency responders from the Maryland Transportation Authority Police subsequently confirm that they have implemented measures to prevent any further traffic from entering the bridge. C-13 dispatch, the whole bridge just fell down. Start. Started whoever everybody. The whole bridge just collapsed. Simple dispatch is direct. That's correct. This time. Do we know if all traffic was stopped? I can't get to the other side, sir. The bridge is down. We're gonna have to get somebody on the other side, the Anaheim County MSP, to get up here and stop traffic coming northbound on the T bridge. 